I worked with a big team. It wasn't just me, and that's one thing about large projects. I ended up sculpting everything that you see superficially, but there were teams of engineers that were working on this. I worked with Dr. Radinger, who helped with his team do a three-dimensional scan of the sculpture of the woman that I did. Typically what we do is we go from large scale and we bring it down small. So we'll, we'll scan a building that was damaged or scan a full-size house, and then we'll shrink it down and maybe 3D print that house in a small scale. We typically don't go the other direction, taking something small and going large. Making it small gives you the opportunity to study it in a smaller scale, hold it up, see it in different lights, do a 3D scan so it's not completely complex, and then we blow it up from there. When you're scanning something as big as like one of the, one of the buildings on campus, if you're off by just a millimeter or two, you can't see that in the cloud. And when you shrink that down and print it, it looks perfect. But when you go the other direction, if you're scanning something small and you're off by a millimeter or two, when you scale it up, you're off by a lot. So this is kind of new for us, but it's also exciting and, and lets us try technology and really push the limits on what this equipment can do. What's nice about this software is as you're scanning it, you can see the laser stripe on there and, and any place where it's missing, it puts a red dots where it doesn't have enough density. So we're able to go back and close those off, any gaps in the scan, and we'll feel pretty confident we're gonna have a good product here.